it then eventually, well, yeah, it then went out on Steam as $6.99 and went out on GOG.com as $8.99, so you can grab it from there. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to um, do a playthrough. Now, this game, is, well, FTS stands for Faster Than Light, but what this whole game is just all about, basically, is imagining a ship. It's like Star Trek and other star themed shows and stuff. Oh, well. Let's go on. Uh, let's go on new game since I've already played a tutorial. But if you want me to do a tutorial, then I will. Okay, so here we are. This is the main screen, the Kestrel. The, that's the name of the ship. Uh, we have three crew members with random names, or even down here as well. Can you see them? And this is all the systems. We have the uh, piloting door system, sensors. Med bay, oxygen, shields, engines, and weapon control. Most, well, you can argue which systems are more important than others. For example, if you were um, on a, a technological ship like the NG uh, cruiser right here, then you'll you'll have like a drone control added and. You can say that you need to power, like, vent that up more, because you have more drones. Well, you start off with drones. Uh, plus, you also have augmentations. So, like, on here, I get, say, a medbot dispersal, which, mean, which means no matter, which means that no matter what room I'm in, I will get healed, as long as the med bay is online. It'll be at a slower rate, though. But, obviously, because this is a different ship, it'll also have the species of alien. So these are called the NG. But for now, I'm going to just go back to the Kestrel Cruiser. And, um, yeah. Well, this is what it looks like. And that's for the rooms. I'm going to rename it, a stuff which I like. Just, um, hope you can guess what it is. And I can't even spell Penguin, so I the Penguin. There we go. And then I'm going to customize my crew. I will, the captain, who's the old part of the maps, I know. The captain will be um, me, of course. I will also, I'll be a man. Then my uh, crewmate, by second hand, will be a friend. And the ten. And then the only woman on the ship will be another friend, Tiger Phantom. Now, as far as I know, only Rednock has another YouTube channel, so go check his out. Uh, well, uh, Tiger Phantom's got a Tumblr, which you can um, log on to. Well, I only have Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and Tumblr, but my Tumblr's going good at the moment. So just leave me alone for now, please. Now what I'm going to do is I can go on normal, which gives me standard scrap and uh, enemies. Oh scrap, sorry, scrap by the way is the currency in game. And um, the enemies are uh, the enemies. Let's start. Data I carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing Rebel Fleet can catch up. Tip exits is tempting to rush for sector exits, but exploring is the only way to upgrade your ship. Try and get as much out of each sector as possible. Hmm. Okay. Now I'm I've played the game before many a times. Just to see what it's like and see whether it's worthy of playthrough, which by the way it is. So because you see this cloud, it means I'm in a nebula. Which means my sensors will not function. So no matter what level they are, uh, they just won't function. So this is Tank Phantom, and I shall put over weapons. And this is my friend, when not ten. I shall put him in shields. While I remain in the piloting, otherwise lost to get out of there. I can't jump. So I'll pop him back in there. 
Well, let me just upgrade the ship first. I'll upgrade the sensors. I know that won't come shit what I just said, but we'll see in a minute once we find an enemy. So let me just pop out of here. Oh, wait, I just got something. So there isn't. Oh, it's charging. Um, oh, just nothing. Okay, so this is the beacon map. What it is, um, you move anywhere you want, as long as it's in range. And, well, you can fight enemies, you can collect stuff, you can go to a store, help somebody out. But eventually, something will come up here where it says warning. That's where the rebel fleet is going to capture. Eventually, they'll take over those sectors. For right now, in the first sector, the civilian sector, and so I can just go anywhere I want now. Well, sorry, here. So, um, before I do that, I'll also um, tell you more about the ship. This is the oxygen here. Well, down here. Now, if I was to unpower that, over here, you should see the oxygen level going down. Right now, it is at 92%. And then eventually the rooms will start to turn pink as they lose oxygen. So I'll turn it on so I don't want to kill everybody early. And oh they have doors. This is the airlock and when you do when you um have one of the doors to the airlock, that the room will instantly lose air. But I can then open it up to um fill other rooms. So let's say you've got a fire somewhere. You can, instead of having to um, have somebody go extinguish it and risk their lives, or you could just have a repair bot drone, um, you can just do that and it will remove all the oxygen from there. And as we all know, no oxygen equals no fire, so that's one of the three things it needs. A mini science lesson there. But then eventually you'll see that all of this uh, will then start to turn white. Oh, and the orange borders means. But there's no oxygen in the room. So basically, if I was to get her to there, her health has not changed. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, this is the engines. And what it is, it, pow it powers not only the FTL drive, but it also powers the evade over here. So that I can miss um, enemy fire. Now, down here, it's this little icon. And I can click it to fully power it. But. Also, all systems like the shields, weapons, um, engines, all have a bonus if you have some DM there. So right now, it's black, so that means that there's no DM there. While the sh shields over here is white, which means there's some DM there. So if I was to get her, who's on weapons, oh sorry, the reason why there's no man is because, well no person, is because it is a powered. So I'll charge up my missiles, which are up here. So if I was to get her through there, that will come left. That would have. And then this will turn white. So it's here, uh, partially powered and manned by crew. I'm just going to take her back to the weapons. We have the med bay, which um, regenerates my crew's health. We have shields, which help power up the shields quicker. Sensors, which let me look through the whole of the ship and also the enemy ship. Uh, that's why I upgraded it so I can see what they're doing. The door system allows me to open and close these. If it was to go out, we'll have doors open to the airlock, then, well, it'll be a tough day. And this is the uh, pilot tank, which always leaves somebody in there if you want to jump hell out of there. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump forward. Now, there's an enemy. I stumbled across a Ford Scout Rebel fleet. They're calling the FTL. Yeah, they get away, they'll no doubt warn my position. Ah, now, this is a drone, and a combat drone for that. And what it is, basically, this one has a laser which will keep on shooting it. The, the basic one won't affect my shields, even though they're low. But um, it will like lower them a bit so that other weapons can get through. So I'm just going to charge up my weapons, I shall aim my burst laser at the drones, just stop this, I can aim my missiles at their weapons. 
So I'm just going to unpause. And I'll turn auto fire on. So this is pretty useful. So you see they're charging. Now they just fired their missiles. Um, again, look at that. We already have a breach in the sensors. So I'll go and fix that. Thank God I have auto fire. What it is down here is a subsystem. These subsystems don't require reactor energy. They can just like literally power themselves. And um, basically, the higher level it is, the more, well, the better it is. So the door system, if I have an orange, but then they turn great, which means that fire won't spread through them. And if I upgrade them again, they'll become blast doors, which means it'll be really, really hard for an enemy to go through. Oh, I just killed him. Let's see what I can get from that. The ship breaks apart and I'm relieved to know it's still one step ahead. One fuel, one missile, 23 scrap. That's good. Ah, my health is low. This is a pretty good time to demonstrate the med bay. So let me just fix up this, the uh, sensors. I'm taking me to the med bay. Now, my health will start to regenerate. This creates him fully healed. There we go. Now oh, I can go back in there. Now, in here, I can um, upgrade everything. I previously upgraded my sensors. So, what is I can see any power, if I upgrade it again. Right now, I can see the enemy interior. If it was on level 1, I can see my ship interior. This adds autopilot, which means it'll just evade when I'm not in there. And uh, these are the doors. Right, uh, right now, uh, they're just normal. When they become blast doors, like I said, they set fire and the third level means no enemies. Well, it'd be pretty hard for them. These are power bars, which are pretty vital, so I just might go ahead and grab one. And as you can see, my scrap went down, so I bought something. Now, that is the main currency. You have nice, it's almost like Fallout bottle, bottle tops. So, yeah, um,. I'm just gonna accept and then I'm going to jump. I shall jump over here. Uh, I well basically what's happened here is they want me to pay it off and they're pirates, which is why they have purple paint and octopus painted on. Uh and what is you could pay and they'll just leave you alone. We can reject and they'll start to attack. So I just reject. I always reject because I want to save all my scrap. So what I'm going to do now is fire my burst laser, the shield, fire my missile at their weapons. Oh, missiles hurt, pierce the shields, but they sometimes miss as well. Better go ahead. I'll wait. He fired. He fired. Um. Ooh. Fuel free missile seven scrap thirty an ordnance. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. You just. Uh... Okay. This is the equipment. It's stealth weapons. It's when I have a cloaking. Um. I have a cloaking system. Why well, it is, normally your weapons would disrupt the cloaking. But, what this does is, when you fire, uh, you'll still have your cloaking up. So, it'll take a lot and lot and lot of energy. Oh yeah, so what I'm going to do now is, still pause. I'm just going to drain the uh, oxygen from the range, which means 